Okay, hi again. Um, this video will show you how to finish the centers that are unsolved. Okay. Now, in this part of solving the 5x5 five five cube, you might want to know, or you don't, never mind, but you gotta kinda choose your colors carefully. I was thinking back to the 4x4. Four four. Okay, so you can do any of them in any row pattern really I like to do them this one and this one and this one and then this one it doesn't really matter but I find it easiest if you just go in a row some people do opposites and then these but it's, it's entirely up to you I'll show you how to do it just in a row okay so we'll start out with white right here and I'm gonna be holding the cube like this with blue over here, green over here. So, sorry, I'm just gonna turn a little bit. All right, you got two whites right here, and since I'm going for a row sort of thing, I'll get one into this slot. Sorry, my fingers in the way. This slot. Okay, and I see that there's another one right up here. So I'm gonna temporarily, or yeah, yeah, and then put this back down. Okay, sorry. There's a spot right here. I'm gonna turn this out of the way. Put that other white one into place. And flip it back up. Because when we're doing this, we're gonna be using this layer mostly. These layers mostly. And it doesn't matter if we use this or this because these will still be solved. So now. Ooh, I might have been out of the picture. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I got these three. Now I just gotta find another white edge so to speak right here and there's a white corner right there I'm just gonna bring that down pair them up I can just kinda leave it at that for a second but since I see up here these two just like that oopsies, I'm just gonna move it so when I bring this one down it'll pair up all three of those. So then you can just turn it, bring it up with the rest of the whites, and then flip it twice. So the the two like that are facing to your left. It's easier, I find, to use the right layers, the, your, your right hand. It I think it's all preference, but you know it's whatever. You just want it to the side that you're not going to be working with as much. This is like our completed half, so to speak. So. We look for the last edge thing, and here's the corner we could match up with it, just by turning that layer. And the last one right here, you can just turn that down, it's temporarily moving that, but that's okay. We'll just move that up, put this back, matching up, now we got the white. A lot of this is pretty simple, you know, you just, it's kind of like, I don't know the word for it, intuitive, you know, you just kind of have to sort of figure some of these things out, but as you go, but you can always message me with any questions. <clears throat> so, you got two oranges now, we're just going around in a circle, or square. Okay, two oranges, here's another orange. Or, sorry, here. I'm just going to bring those down to pair that up. It's going to temporarily move that out of the way, but also that's okay. So you just put that like that, turn it so it's like it's going in the same direction as everything else, and then put the whites back up into place. Gosh, I tend to move out of that picture a lot. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Our next. Uh, orange piece will be this one and I'll use this orange one right here okay so I'm gonna flip that layer twice because I'm trying to move this piece around on top of this one so I'll just flip that twice as you can see the white's like that it's out of place but again no biggie you just move it back and 
you want to know, you know, like, where everything is in the cube, as I was, I was going to say before, like, the scheme, kind of, and just to make sure you're putting, like, when you're matching up the three rows, you can put, like, the oranges next to the whites, like, it's on the left of the whites. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera, but, uh, because that's just how it is. All right. We got one more row three, and uh, for the orange side, so I'm just gonna flick this up. Got two right there already. One here. Just gonna move that up, pair them up, put this over, and as you can see, there's gonna be an obvious difference because the white ones right now are opposite of this orange. So I'm just gonna flip this twice to move this out of the way so we can move the white up to make it so these will be next to each other. So I'll just flip it twice again, making it so orange is next to white, bring it back down. Now I got orange, orange and white. And still, still got blue and green. Okay, so we got two more centers it looks like. And these ones can prove to be the most difficult. But the way I look at it kind of is if you solve one you're gonna solve the other so just focus on solving one of the two here we'll just do yellow because we have C2 paired up right there and that's what I feel like doing oh, okay so you got two paired I'm gonna move one of these two pieces just like this so it'll come down on top of this and look see I'm also getting the two like that and <coughs> sorry Basically, this is still like the row thing, but that's just how you do it. You do it in three rows, you know. I'm sure there are many other ways to do this, but this is just how I do it. Okay. So, I'm going to bring this yellow up on top of this yellow. I'm going to move it out of the way. And now if you look, I kind of got... See, when I move this out of the way, it's not going to come on top of this if I move it like that. See? And that can prove to be a dilemma sometimes, but in this time, it's not going to be because, well, I'll show you how to do it. So, I bring this up, and obviously this yellow piece that we're trying to get it to match with these isn't going to match. So, we bring it over, so now it, it's, so this proves that next time we turn this layer back, it's going to be right here. So we turn it back, move this up like that again bring it up to match it over and back we got all of our centers now <clears throat> so yeah that's the end of this video no it was a bit shorter but alright thank you for watching